Hidden from the world, shrouded in silence, this is the contemplative call of the Camelite Sisters Congregation, a Roman Catholic order founded in the 12th century that came to Trinidad and Tobago this week 100 years ago. I've been given rare access to the lives of women who have dedicated their entire existence to the service of God. The Carmelites here in Trinidad are noted, they are noted for reaching out our social work, reaching out to those who are less fortunate than ourselves. In 1919, Archbishop of Port of Spain John Dowling asked three nuns to come to the country to serve at Laspis, a home for the elderly. Their service extended beyond that. When young ladies were having babies with nowhere to leave them during working hours, it was the Camelites that opened a daycare. When society didn't know how to treat with special needs children, Camelites opened a school. We have been working among the poor and marginalized. If you look at where our convents are situated, you will realize that we are in all the hotspots. What is important is what we do between birth and death which is life, and it, and it is important because we wear the scapula, which is really an apron, that we are called to serve, not to be served. These days, finding servers are hard. There are roughly 35 Camelites in the country. A life of prayer and chastity doesn't connect well with young ladies. We didn't have quite a lot of the things that young people are distracted by now. Sister Antoinette Dickey has been a nun for 55 of the 100 years the Camelites have been in the country. She's seen the world and the church change with every decade, and a major shift could take place in her lifetime. Right now there is a report sitting on Pope Francis's desk uh, with recommendations to allow women to become diaconesses. Do you think that's something you would support? Of course, because quite a lot of our sisters do the, most of the works of the deacons anyway. They preach, well, first of all, they pray, they preach, they administer the, um, the Holy Eucharist. A century after arriving, the numbers are plummeting. Do you ever worry that there may not be another hundred years of Camelite? No, it's all in God's hands. Though the building sways from left to right, the strong foundation prevents it from falling. Ryan Beju, CNC3 News.